got my alka alcohol spray, my hand sanitizer, my munchies, my smoothie drink. Okay, you guys, I'm ready. I gotta take you guys off. I don't film while driving. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit, okay? Hey, don't get mad. I'm at a red light, just waiting to turn. I'm, I'm about two minutes from um, Sweet Williams. But that building there in this shopping center on the corner here at 21st and Cimarron, um, that used to be Van Briggle. Yeah, a few years ago, they turned it into like a shopping center. Now that corner is a brewery. And then there's some other like trendy things going on in there. Okay, the light's about to turn. I'll see you guys in about three minutes. That's downtown Colorado Springs. We don't have a lot of tall buildings. We've got a few. So I'm kind of parallel, about in the middle of town, right? Now, when you go up over the hill, let's start to walk. When you go up over the hill here, it heads in towards um, Cheyenne, like where the zoo, and then into Broadmoor where all the money is and people that pretty much, oh, my drink, people that pretty much own most of this town. Um, we won't talk about that. Let me just say, thank goodness there's watchdog groups, okay? Can we just say that? Um, Cause yeah, they'd like to own more of it. Anyways, so let's go up this unique stairs and let's go check this place out. There's already a lot of activity here actually. Okay, let's see what we have. A little courtyard. And here we go. So this is the main entrance the cashier I can't really get a handle yet on how big the place is but we'll go check it out again that's the name and they have a bunch of dealer cards okay so let's go check it out tell you also I'm noticing that there's a downstairs that we can visit too okay so we're gonna get started well so far this really has a different vibe than what I'm used to um, like this booth when I walk in here it's like being at my grandma's house definitely more than any other antique mall I've ever been to my grandma and grandpa um, Ohio I'm, I was born in Ohio left pretty quick but they actually built their own house room by room as they had more kids. And it was a watermelon patch that they bought at the edge of the prison line there in Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, Kettering, Ohio. And uh, bought a watermelon patch a couple acres from the governor. And uh, just started building. And the house is one of those houses, it's pretty common where it just starts like, it's kind of crazy by the time it's done, right? They ended up having four kids and just build another room when they needed it. <laughs> so some of this stuff just reminds me so much of, you know, going to my grandma's house. So here's something very interesting. I have not seen this. I've seen a lot of peanut, Mr. Peanut stuff. It's $16. There's seven. Wow, seven of these and then the big bowl. Look, he's in there. Oh my gosh, just so much of this stuff. Yes. <laughs> just having like a nostalgic moment that I very rarely have family-wise. I've been having those lately though. That's number two this week, isn't it? I wonder what's up. Oh hey, I almost missed it. Hey George. There's another gate for you if you need it. Here, there you go, just let me know. <laughs> I'll come get it for you and save it until you get here, okay? Well, that's some old school business right there. Okay, where should we go? Let me see, oh, oh, I see a shirt. This is so cute. I mean, it's not super creative, you know, but come on now, it's still cute. You had me at vintage, vintage soul. I know people that would like that. Let's see. Yeah, this is just, it's hard for me to tell what's really, oh, sorry, I keep getting distracted. $42. It's hard for me to tell what's really old in some of these booths and what's just kind of distressing for display effect. But I've never been in this kind of an antique mall, 
you know. This is the kind like Jocelyn goes to a lot with the creaky floors. I'm having a lot of fun, you guys. This is seriously a little different for me. You know, I'm a thrift store junkie. I just now kind of have been more open-minded to going to the antique malls and stuff. I didn't really understand how fun they were. Size 30. There we are. Okay, I know where I'm at now. Hi, hi. That's something I haven't seen. A cat and a lobster. I wonder if that's for sale. The hat pins are $8. Love that. Oh, I can't get you guys in there. That's an interesting cross. Hey, you guys. Okay, seriously, I don't even like know where to start. Like, this is a maze. Yes. <laughs> I've only seen other people do this kind of markets. I wanna, I hope I, they need a map. I need a map. Make sure I don't miss anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I'm having a great time though. Wow. I'm not a big ephemera dealer. I did when I went to Pennsylvania, when I went thrifting um, with his mom over in York. I bought a big, I mean like a big box of very old postcards for $14. That's one of those current plates. That's a Roadrunner. This is what I'm trying to look at. It's not a spaghetti noodle, but it's cute. Anyways, I need to work with that. I, I should just resell it as a lot. Okay, let's look in here. That one for 28. I am a brooch connoisseur. On the cheap, of course. <laughs> so that's a pretty one. Okay, so I came through that hallway. I've done half a room when we first walk in. This is my second room. Um, these old dresses. I, I would have, it, have to think and study to know what's really old, you know, and what's repop. Especially with the popularity of stores like um, Magnolia Pearl. A lot of this stuff is being remade. That definitely looks vintage though. But you know, you can tell by stitching and buttons. It's just a learning curve and it's not that steep. I just haven't ever done it. Ooh, look at this little poodle set. <laughs> oh my goodness. Probably Japan or something. Doesn't say and I don't want to pick it all up. Um, $32. Some kind of pixie cookie jar. $35. Yeah, just a mix of new and old stuff, right? And probably some stuff that's repop, I'm sure. I hope I'm I know I'm going slow enough because this is one of those places where it's tricky to walk around. Let me see this. see this eight dollars this is going to be a little different in my videos because this is a different trip for me ten dollars cute little kitty Whoa, $300 marble and brass pendulum, not original. Pixie bookend, just one. She's cute. Some people have a thing for pixies. There is a collector for everything. Seriously. Huh, like what? 70s maybe yeah see this is a creaky floor place <laughs> the other malls that i go to are made out of new buildings right so they don't have that effect i'm wanting to look at this 225 dollars 
That's interesting. It's kind of like a hobnail lampshade. I'm wanting to look at this little piece here. Darn, no price. I hate that. That's okay. If you want it bad enough, I'll go ask. <laughs> Again, I've never been in one like this, so <laughs> I'm really not sure how to film when it's Okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's just look. Let's just look. If you're doing okay with this, okay. If not, I understand. Okay. Oh my gosh, more rooms. What? Okay. <laughs> um, I'll pass here because you guys really won't be able to see very well inside showcases. The glare will be too much. just scanning I know you can't see from far away I'm scanning for something cool to like really you know come up on that's got to be a vintage bird cage right that looks like vintage glass too wow okay so this apparently is going to be like another tunnel back through on the other side of the front entrance <laughs> so that's cool I have an affection for this kind of stuff $15 vintage berry wreath acrylics and lucites I'm hoping there's some face masks that some people made I'm ready for a couple of new patterns of face masks too a couple new colors since I'm pretty sure we're going to need them into 2021 after all. I'd like to get a few more colors. This is, um, I have friends that like this kind of stuff, but it's not my groove. It smells good in here though. Wait a minute, I see a purse. Oh look, there's Ohio. Yeah. I'm born somewhere around right, right in there. Hand crocheted. I like this. Eight dollars. Some kind of plastic bottle or plate for the bottom. Because now I see me some art glass. Oh, that's pretty. 75. A little high. Not, I mean, just a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. Diamond pattern. 35. Ooh, some head vases. Let's check prices. It's dark in here. Sorry, you guys. It's dark. I can't do it. We'll, we'll just have to look, and I can tell you that some head vases are worth more than others, so be careful. I'm just letting you guys look at this booth. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> This one has a lot of vintage. If you're local, I'm showing you some cool stuff. Oh, hey, Tanya. Tanya has that Manny. What's this baby? I don't, okay. Crack old babies, that's just, I don't know. It's just sad, you guys, <laughs> it's just sad. Let's see. Oh, that's precious. Oh my goodness, $10. You guys, now that's precious. I don't need, I shouldn't even be touching it with, because I've got hand sanitizer on. I don't know what 
that is. <laughs> you guys. I feel like I've never seen vintage and antiques before. I just, it's just the way this is put together. Ten dollars. That's a Hager. Uh, is it supposed to be black? Did, some, did somebody paint that black? Darn it. I think that's a little aftermarket job there. Darn. Anyways. Hi, hi. See what's back up in here. Oh, that's cute. Oh. Darn it. Never mind. Okay, a beaded flower. Oy vey. Why do I love that? I love the taupe color. There's something about this I love. The taupe, the platinum, the gold, the silver. What am I gonna do with it? I want it though. <laughs> oh, I know my grandma had that, I know. Oh, that's why I'm so nostalgic. It smells like my grandma's house too. Even though we're in Colorado and we don't have a lot of humidity, and then Ohio has some humidity, this place still has that very kind of musty, musty smell that normally I haven't smelled in any of the other ones because they're newer buildings. Wow, there's a lot of cute stuff in here. Just letting you guys live, really. I hope that's okay, because... <laughs> This is one, this is packed. I'm going to talk about this only because it's $1,200. That's all I can tell you because that's out of my wheelhouse. Even though I've seen every episode of American Pickers at least four times. But I'll show it because somebody might be appreciating this. And this is labeled $98. Porcelain or ceramic or bakelite. I'm not sure general store that's what I'm talking about this is 10 of course I don't want to even pick this up to look underneath it but there you go some of you probably know exactly what that is well this is the most bake light I've ever seen in one place bake light utensils different prices two fifty two dollars and then some individually priced still trying to learn about Bakelite. This seems like a good deal for people who like are always looking for scraps to upcycle. Super soft. $13. Oh look! It's a safety pin. Oh my gosh. Okay now I've never seen a safety pin tree and it lights up what now that would be my groove I know some people are gaga over the um, ceramic Christmas trees but you know I sometimes I could be a brat and when too many people are into something I kind of want to move on to the next that would be a good like parallel thing right you know what I'm trying to say <laughs> I think I need to get this. Hang on, I'm gonna go put this up front because I'm gonna get this. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go put this at the register. Okay, she's plugging it in for me. Yes, it works. Okay, she's gonna hold it for me. And I'm gonna get that. And you know what? I just spotted that and she says her name is Gabby. What'd you say, it was a rescue or just follow? Uh, she's a stray that a showed stray. up about a year ago. Aww. Moved in. She's totally happy here. She's uh, very social, very sweet. I think um, somebody in the neighborhood must have moved and left you behind. Uh, so she's kind of familiar with the area? Yeah. Wow, I'm so excited about the um, Christmas lamp. I can't even tell you. Wait a minute. Is that? Oh, dang it. I don't know how to tell fakes from real on some of these things. See, it's only $8. Oh, 
I know this is Ellie Smith, but they didn't say it. Ah, the color looks okay. I think I'm going to get it for $8. Yeah, I'll be back. I'm going to take that up front too. Okay, you guys, we're going to go down to the lower level now. Okay. There. <laughs> Here we go. Some old radios. Oh boy, I've sold my fair share of those. Whenever they pop up, up at thrift store for a good price, I get them and they sell. Arabia made in Finland. It's cute. I want to go look at that cat. Let's go do that. Let's walk around. Excuse us. Oh, it's hard to get in and out of these places. I want to see you. Kitchy bank. Yes, you are. I've seen you in dogs and stuff. Never a kitty cat. Dollars. Hmm. Let me think about that. That needs to be just a little cheaper for resale. It's a great price for yourself. Fabulous price. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. I hope you do. Because I posted that I just sold the most expensive salt and pepper shakers ever. $110. You'll have to go look at that or I'll show you in the next What Sold video. It looks like it goes to an aquarium. Mm -hmm. Old cameras, not my jam, but I know people who do. Uh, it's a family that comes to Denver a lot to go to the Mile High flea market. Wheeler dealer banana peeler. <laughs> yes. Father and son and family, but mostly a father and son. And that young man knows the vintage cameras. All kinds of cameras. That's cute. Okay, let's move on. This person has a lot of vintage clothing. You know what I want? I just got my Ruth Bader Ginsburg t-shirt the other day. Again, I posted it on Instagram. You know, just quickies on Instagram. I want a beaded collar of some kind, preferably vintage. If I can't find one good vintage, I'm okay with just getting one. Only $8. Hey, I always go through the lingerie at the thrift store to look for vintage lingerie. That stuff sells. I have a buyer in Japan that buys a lot of it. We've developed a pretty good relationship. I wish that I wish that had a tag on it. At least still had the union made tag. Miss Elaine, I think that's a newer tag though. She's still making stuff. Kimonos I do well with. Check out this macrame. Looks pretty rough shape. Let's see how much it is and if it could be salvaged. 15, so 40% off. Mm. Sorry, sweetie. $12, 40% off. I was just fixing her. Oh, there's another one. What, do you girls have too much drink last night or what?
Made in Japan. Those are cute. Salt and pepper shakers. Maddox, California. Let's see how much that is for my white swan Christmas since she's having a 40% off sale. Hang on, let me pull this stuff out. $28. Mm. How much are you? As is. Darn it. And new sheriff in town. Cowboy Kitty. Let me put that back together and I'll show you guys. That's kind of cute. <laughs> Little anthropomorphic thing. Okay, I'm working my way to show you guys something. So I did look up this. 1962 Seattle World's Fair. It's in great shape. $12. It's probably worth 10 to 15 That's in great shape though. But this one here is more important. $8.50. She's got a retro ceramic tiki. Wait, let me turn it around. Okay. Some of these are pretty generic, but this one is Tiki Farm Al Evans 2003. Now this one's only worth about 12 to 15 currently, but I want you to remember that name, Tiki Farm, and there'll be various um, signings under it because some of them from Tiki Farm, limited edition, can go for 50 to 100 and more, okay? So, Tiki Farm. So this guy's having 20% off. There I go again, guy, because it just because of the content, <laughs> it could be a couple. There's a little piece of treasure craft, seven dollars, twenty percent off, so it'd be a dollar forty off. Knott's Berry Farm. Some older signage. Some stuff that I know some people like. Like, you know, vintage retro signage and alcohol related bar stuff. So just letting you look. One forty five. I can't get to that one. Sorry, you guys. This is booth 148 if you're wanting to call them and ask about anything. I kind of like that president box, tin box down there. Handy Andy. I looked at that. It's $12. It's got a little chip. That's cute. Somebody made it, but that's cute. Six dollars, dollar twenty off. He's got some vintagey stuff in here, for sure. Booth full of records. Twelve dollars. Trying to make some millifory. This one to pass. Oh, you guys are sweet. Yes, you are. Seven dollars, Holland mold. Somebody did a pretty good job. I have a glass one though in my collection. $2.50. You're in pretty good shape. dollars got some chippy chips oh I like this 18 
do like that. See anything else, you guys? <laughs> Eight dollars. Now there's some weeping bright in gold. Six dollars for this little trinket box. I did score a few pieces already for my antique wall, so I'm okay. That is awesome. Look, this is in really good shape. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yes. Nine pieces. Fifteen dollars. Oh, I love that. I might have to get that. I might get that for myself. Let's see what else they have. Four dollars. Aww. Those are you. Made in Japan. You're cute. Wade Sugar and Creamer. Oh. Yes, you are. Adorable. That's gorgeous. That's a good deal for someone. That's cute. Bone plate. We don't have to wonder what that's for. Um. Oh, it's too much gold off of it. All right. I think I want that. That is in immaculate shape. Seriously. Okay, you guys. I think I'm going to get that. I'll be back. Well, I didn't think this was going to take long down here, but <laughs> there's another... <laughs> there's another section. Oh, yay. They're still open for a little bit longer, so... Those are cute lampshades with the fringe. They're not old, but they're still cute. Oh, my goodness. Another whole section. Oh, I picked something up. I don't love paying $20, but this is worth way more than $20. This is a Murano. She just has it marked as a glass ashtray. Oh shoot, where's the sticker? Dang it. Well now, I'm going to go upstairs, pay for this awesomeness. I had a really great time. This was definitely worth the visit. I had a really great time, you guys. I hope you did too. So I'll see you later, or see you on the next video. Bye-bye.